In a leaked recording from Brussels, the European Union bosses confirm that Rishi Sunak's Brexit deal is not what he has promised to the British public. We're not surprised, we're not shocked, even though the last few days uh, when people like me have been criticizing or questioning uh, this new so-called Brexit agreement between Rishi Sunak and the European Union, some people in the main, more mainstream and uh, moderate people have been saying, well, you guys just want to complain about everything. Do we? Well, we've been quite sensible on various issues on this channel and tried to take the more common sense ground. This time, we now have more evidence that even the European Union do believe that this new Brexit deal is fake and it's basically just been a gimmicky PR stunt just to help give Rishi Sunak some good media attention. We know that when Rishi Sunak decided to have these negotiations while well, taken to a different route and get and go and have a chat and very quickly and easily coming back and say, hey, well, I did it. I just got the European Union to concede and agree with what we wanted. We have taken back control. He literally said that. These are the headlines. He said, my deal takes back control. Rishi Sunak said he was very happy. He was very proud. And all the mainstream British press and media praised him, saying, yes, you've done it, Rishi. Theresa May failed, Boris Johnson failed, Liz Truss failed, and you've done it. You're so smart. So let's just pack our bags. Everything's fine now. Brexit is sorted. Let's talk about something else. The only reason they say that is because even those who are not really, really Ramoners in the British media, in the British establishment, they're not really true Brexit believers. So they just wanted to get it over with so you could talk about other things, even though a lot of things are still linked to our relationship to the European Union. Well, now we have a leaked recording uh, from inside Brussels. Uh, Mara Shevkovic, uh, who is basically one of the chief uh, and, well, negotiators and also in terms of the, uh, the, the title uh, and as, as vice president, is, is very much a top person in the European Commission. These people have been talking about this since the agreement has been signed and we now have the text of the recording uh, thanks to telegraph the telegraph has been very busy these days with lockdown files and now this uh, the brexit files essentially so one issue was about the storm and break which uh Rishi Sunak said we've got this thing called storm and break which will give us the united kingdom the power to have a say to veto things that we don't like the eu rules well Mr. Shevkovich says this storm and break is very much limited in the scope and is really under very strict conditions. He says, on top of that, if we do not feel convinced, we have our joint bodies to deal with this issue or eventually this case could be presented to the arbitration. He says, if we don't feel the third party's perspective, and then we will have the possibility to take limited uh, remedial measures because we can tell them that it's affecting the functioning of our single market. So basically, they, they can, whenever they want, they could just say, well, you can't really do that, Britain, because it's, it's going to undermine the integrity of our single market. They still have uh, the upper hand, especially using the European Court of Justice that ex still exists in Northern Ireland, even after this deal. So all the good news that we've got, it was all gimmicky. That's why I was questioning the whole agreement from day one, saying, okay, let's be objective. On paper, they are presenting it as it's fixed some of the aspects of trade between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. So well done. But clearly it comes at a cost. Clearly nothing to, can be that good. If the European Union is happy, if Jean-Claude Juncker is happy, if the left-wing media is happy, and Jeremy Hunt is happy, then we shouldn't be happy. There must be something wrong with it. And we were proven right. Now, Mara Shevkovich also says, be under no impression that there will be a diminishing of the role of the European Court of Justice. He basically says, yeah, ECJ is not going anywhere. He says, we've been very clear from the beginning until the end that the role of the ECJ as the sole and final arbiter, uh, arbiter of EU law stays in place. Hmm. The Eurocrat also said that the political agreement brokered between Shunak and von der Leyen 
the Commission's president, was simply designed to prevent future disputes over EU rules in the province from reaching a level that would generate political headlines. Hmm, he said, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we hear from the UK press when it comes to uh, urging the uh, to, to kind of MEPs to ignore various claims that the government ministers uh, to sell the new agreement as a move away from ECJ in British newspapers. Basically, they're, they're the whole agreement and the whole announcement of the new so-called deal was to shut um, the, the media and the press and all of us up, saying, hey, stop talking about Brexit. Stop talking about the EU. We're going to lie to you. We're going to pretend that you've taken back control. We're going to uh, pretend that uh, the ECJ doesn't have power anymore yeah, and you have full control over your rules and you've taken back control and all that nonsense. Just shut up. And now they've exposed themselves. This leaked recording is completely changing everything. But we are talking about it on this channel. How much of the mainstream media are going to be bothering over the next few hours talking about this? And the reason I say a few hours, because there's absolutely no need to give them more time. Don't expect them to say, well, don't give them any time saying, well, let's wait for another few days or a week to see if the media are going to focus on this. This is so important, this scandal, that it has to, right now as I'm making this video, BBC, Sky, GB News, all the mainstream media, they should all be on top of it right now, before me and this channel, a one-man band doing a breaking news story. If the Telegraph released the recordings, you should be talking about it for the next few years until something changes. There's no need to wait for another few days to find out what's going on. And that is a reality. These people have lied to us, both sides, the UK government and the European Union robot, who have decided, decided to do this glamorous press conference, walking around, taking pictures, saying we're now best friends. The same European Union who publicly said that they were going to punish Britain for voting to leave the European Union suddenly changed their mind. Suddenly they want to be our best friends and allies and partners. Don't believe it for a second. They always wanted to protect the integrity of the single market and customs union. Why would they not? It's in their interest. It's a protectionist racket, the European Union. They're not in favor of free trade. They're not in favor of actual open world communication. No, of course not. They want to be insulated. They want to control. This is their new empire. This is the new European empire, which is also failing. It's not really a successful empire, <laughs> but they have some say around the world. They get invited to G20s and G7s and all this, but it's not really functioning. Why should we bother to, to give them respect to protect the integrity of the European project when they themselves don't care because they simply care about their own vested interests? The French want something and Germans want something else. That's the reality. Now, let me know what you think. Make sure to share this video because in, in case the rest of the media are not really going to be talking about this, Channels like this will be reporting it on a regular basis. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.